India is getting ready to do a very unique experiment in space for docking and undocking two satellites. I have with me Dr. S. Somnath, the chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization. The experiment is called SPADEX. Uh, thanks a lot for speaking to me, Dr. Somnath. Thank you. Uh, what is this uh, very unique uh, docking, undocking experiment we are uh, going to do? So, you know, when you have multiple objects in space and we need to bring them together for a certain purpose, we need a mechanism called docking. Uh, two space objects coming and joining together for a purpose is called docking. Uh, this is done through uh, various approaches. You can connect it with a soft mechanism or a hard mechanism. You can also connect them using a uh, mechanism by which you can pass, send people through. That is called pressurized compartment connector, connection, which is done for human transportation from Like Earth. we see on international Some space international space station. station. When a crew module connects to the space station, you bring the pressure equal and then transfer people. So everywhere we have first, initially a mechanism comes and connects, then you establish a sealed connection. So what, and uh, suppose you have to build a space station. Now everything is not launched in one go. Modules go one after another and they are connected to each other to build a long, big, complex space station. So everywhere there is something called docking processes involved. In the docking process, there is some, something called a target and a chaser. So somebody will follow the sec first objects and come together and in a close proximity and make a connection. So in the SpadeX experiment, we are exactly going to replicate that type of technology required to do that. It involves first a mechanism which can go capture, then pull them closer, then rigidize it. So there are three functions. Second element is there are a suite of sensors which are required to identify which is a target and which is a chaser and then relatively move them in a, in a coordinated manner that they are able to come very close with a very controlled movement as well as not to cause a hit and damage while we come to docking. So these two technology elements we are trying to demonstrate through two small satellite platform built around IMS bus uh, which you have been earlier launching to be launched in PSLV in one go in one orbit. So they will be together launched and these satellites will carry out the docking experiment. Now, will we do only docking or will we attempt also undocking and then maybe try another attempt on that? The docking is a powered docking. That means you use an electric motor to drive the docking process. So they not only do a mechanism that will go and catch each other, there is a rigidization process in which the motor can drive a mechanism drive to bring them closer uh, against a spring load and then keep it in that tight condition. That means if required, you can undo it using the reversing the motor and untorquing it and taking it away. And once they move away, the, the propulsion system on board the satellites can fire and then move it apart. I am told India will be the fourth country to do this after uh, Russia, America and China. How difficult is this process of docking and undocking in the vacuum of space in low gravity, so high about 475 kilometers above the earth? Docking is a very complex <coughs> process. Uh, in, ever since I joined, I have been hearing about docking uh, technology development in ISRO. Uh, there were many teams working in ISRO, uh, in working in uh, satellite center, in the launch vehicle centers and others, in developing complex forms of docking technology. But nothing came to a, a, a project uh, in this mode like uh, SpadeX. And SpadeX was conceived a few years back. SpadeX means space docking. Space docking experiment. So this was conceived a few years back. Then it also went through various evolutions, what exactly we need to achieve. But then uh, it is at the right opportune time that we have this experiment. When we are looking at the future missions like the Bharati Andresha Station, the human space flight expansion program, human landing on the moon, etc. coming up, talking becomes an essential technology proving ground. So we looked at how this can be done very cost effectively using a minimal you know, infrastructure and cost that are involved. Of course, we need to launch satellites. In space, if you have to do that, we need to launch them. Correct. But then uh, the satellites requires autonomy. It is not a manually controlled uh, docking operation. Suppose somebody is sitting inside, I can control using thruster firing and a optical you know, tracking and doing it. But this is totally autonomous. Computer does all the decisions. So it's a fully autonomous way of doing it. Uh, and there is a lot of softwares involved, algorithms involved. And the main challenge is, not in all of them, how to test it in ground. In ground, you don't get an orbit uh, or a right. free zero gravity condition in which two bodies are floating 
and actually you can go around and talk. Every action has a reaction in space. So you need to calibrate it properly, test that sensors in so many test beds. So we created software test beds, hardware test beds, robotic based test beds to prove it. This docking, undocking, will it immediately help in a Chandrayaan 4 experiment because that is where you are planning to have of course. a very complex operation to go soft land on the moon and bring back moon samples? So when we proposed Chandrayaan 4, the Expedux uh, was in our back of the mind that we have already you know, envisioned a technology demonstration program. So that can be possibly used in Chandrayaan 4. So we have also considered that and uh, Spadex becomes important from that context. But when you come to Chandrayaan 4, what we are doing in Spadex is not enough. Uh, see, we are trying to do this docking in a circular orbit. In a circular orbit, two bodies when they travel, they, the separation is very small. But assume they are doing an elliptical orbit. In an elliptical orbit, the conditions are different. So when you do in Chandrayaan 4, the docking will happen in an elliptical orbit. And we will look at how further tests are required to prove that uh, type of capabilities for Chandrayaan. Of course, what you are going in SpaceX will definitely add value to Chandrayaan 4. What would be the velocities when the two satellites A and B come together? Is it slow, fast, will it take time? Because human docking takes a, in space takes yeah, a long time. it takes time. long time. Typically, uh, human docking takes a, from launch to docking takes 8 to 12 hours or even more sometimes and issues are the days together. See, you talked about velocity. You know, these two satellites are moving at tremendously high velocity. 7,800 meters per second is the speed, each of them. Now, you are bringing them to fast moving objects together, two bullets or uh, 10 times speed of bullets, they are coming together. So, the relative velocity will be exceedingly small. They are in centimeters per second. Uh, the, between them, the speed can be as much as zero also, relatively. So, if they have to dock, you will move at centimeters per second. But the issue is that when they move closer, they should, the cross movement should be very small and they should not move at all. But if at all it moves, the velocity should be less than 0.1 centimeter per second, 1 millimeter per second type of speeds. So it's a very, very precise moment. Now, we are using a docking mechanism which is unique to India and ISRO. And ISRO has taken a patent on that. Uh, why did we have to develop our own system and uh, how does it compare to what is the international standard and what is being used by Europe and America on the International Space Station? There is our international standards for docking system, uh, no, uh, of course announced by US, uh, which is being followed by Europe. Uh, but of course, uh, the other states have different standards. Uh, if you, standard is only one part, but then making a docking system is a different thing. Standard defines the boundaries on which the system can be designed. And you can use collaboratively used, you can dock with that system. But to actually use them, you need to certify it over a period of time and testing. So, but what we did is we can't use that docking system here. They are very big, meant for human docking purpose. Smaller docking versions, we scale down to a certain thing with certain simplifications at this moment to, to validate the docking mechanism. But of course, the elements that are there in this docking in SpaceX are of the same as what is going to be there in the full docking system. So we'll use similar thing for Bharti Antrik station and for our, when we send an Indian on the moon and how will we have to convert this to the international standard for IASS docking when the Indian crew module goes and docks? Correct, what you said is correct. So when you, uh, when Indian crew means Indian vehicle, if you want to go and dock with the IASS, we need to have a docking system of that class which matches with the corresponding part on the International Space Station. So that we have to follow the international standard to match with it because the one part is theirs, another part is ours. So what we send must be certified by them to be allowed to be docked so that we don't even damage that because tomorrow they need True. to use it. So that calls for a lot of collaborative work between you know, the International Space Station asked us to develop the station. Initially, it may not be possible for us. They will never allow our docking system to be used in ISS unless it is certified. So what we think that initially we must use their docking system in our craft, possibly purchase or borrow or whatever and use it for initial docking. But over a period of time, I believe that we can engineer it ourselves in the full scale and use in our Bharati and the station, prove it on our own, then claim, say, ah, yeah, now we have a proven docking, you allow us to use with the system. So the size and the way it will be done would be 
similar to what yeah, I told there. you there are well, obviously by then the you ISS say, would be replaced even ISS replaced the future coming will also follow standards okay because without standards you cannot have a say for example one vehicle gets stuck and another vehicle has to go and dock and bring back the crew we need to have standards so it's always there like your plug points or light points okay. and things like that you create standards where multiple makes can really come and match so that's why there is a need of a standard but validation of that standard followed product also requires some time of testing and evaluation excited about spadex spadex like every mission we have an excitement but it's a complex work uh, in terms of the years that we have spent on it in terms of developing the technologies going through plenty of testing the problems that we have seen and corrections that you have taken, the teams that have been working, multiple teams have worked on it for years to develop it. So I would like to thank all of them for the patience uh, and perseverance to make at this level through spacecrafts ready for launch. You get more value from every mission than just docking, undocking. Yeah. Will the satellites be used for some extra work later? Of course, no. Uh, ISRO is uh, known for that type of work. Yeah, that do, is what is called uh, frugal technology. Uh, how to do something beyond what we have originally yeah. imagined. And I, definitely we will be doing something and we have put that element into it. Post docking, which uh, which may be one docking you asked, one docking may be done. And if there is enough fuel, we may do multiple docking. And after that, uh, whatever required has been proven as far as docking is concerned, these two satellites can separate out and do an independent work. So we thought what we should do independently and we conceived some payload should be there and we will convert them to a remote sensing satellite. Okay. So uh, one of the satellite will have a remote sensing payload and another satellite will have a science payload. Uh, on the PSLV, is it a dedicated launch? Are you doing an extra thing on, on the PSLV? Uh, PSL is needed to launch these two satellites but uh, we have extra payload capability. Correct. So we conceived uh, the POEM which is a PSLV experimental orbital module, which is the fourth one to go in PSLV. And this gives a lot of opportunity for uh, all the startups and companies, NGs in the space sector to experiment their new ideas, the payloads on board uh, PSLV. And also ISRO establishment to test many of the ideas which need to go in the future space uh, programs, R&D experiments. So we have a large amount of payloads on board this poem this time uh, with the uh, solar power generation, control, everything. So after the separation of the SpaceX satellites, the stage will come down to a lower orbit, essentially to, you know, to not to cause any debris. So with a higher orbit, it will remain as a debris for a long time. So we will have a POEM orbital operation for at least two months. And all the payloads are currently available, supplied by the private companies and industries and startups, as well as ISRO institution. The testing of the integrated level is going on. So one launch, and huge value addition from that. Precisely, one. yeah. In fact, there is a huge demand for POEM to come in every launch of PSLV. Unfortunately, in every launch, we, we will not be able to provide because some of, some launches, the satellite is uh, you know, fully occupying its capability. So whenever there is a spare capability, we, of course, put some incremental value uh, to make the stage a POEM enabled and provide this opportunity to everyone. So docking, undocking takes India into a very special league of nations. Definitely it should, it should. The success of this makes a diff different uh, uh, you know, feeling because now we are preparing ourselves to do a real you know, space-faring nation. It's not just launching in space, we can do operations. What are the operations? We, we can do rendezvous, means coming closer to inspecting another satellite. Uh, if satellite is dead, you can make it live again by charging. This experiment, we are going to do a power transfer test. So we can actually pump electricity to another satellite if needed to charge its battery or supply a battery is fresh to it. Or maybe tomorrow we can do a refueling of a satellite if you have a refueling adapter or bring the catch the satellite and throw it as into the sea if it is a defunct satellite and making it debris free. So every all of these capabilities uh, requires docking essentially, going proximity operation. So it requires control how to use cameras, how to use sensors to find out when the next object is nearby and capture it. Also useful for surveillance. Of course, it, it comes useful whenever surveillance is needed, yes. True, true. But surveillance don't need going that much closer. Maybe you can far away, you can see. True. So the many uses. For, many uses. Many, many, many uses by one, one uh, sophisticated experiment. Yes, of course, yeah. So exciting times for ISRO. Yeah. Always, always is. Space is exciting. Thanks a lot for speaking to Thank me, you. Dr. Somna. Thank you so much. So that was Dr. S. Somna telling us 
how India is entering into a completely new domain with a docking, undocking experiment of two Indian satellites. A technology which has been mastered only by Russia, America and China. India becoming the fourth country to attempt to master that technology. In New Delhi, Pallava Bagla for NDTV.